guys, James here today and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 4 Vampires. This is Finn Lewis, which some of you may or may not remember from the Seven Toddler Challenge. It is Finn, classic Finn. If you haven't seen that challenge, I suggest going to watch it. It's a bit of a backstory to this in a way. In another way, not really. But it's only like uh, six parts of it, or seven parts, whatever it was. So it's not very long, would suggest watching it. Very good. But here, Sims 4 Vampires. Uh, this is our character, this is who we're going to be playing as. Our goal in this Let's Play is basically to make him the most powerful vampire and be essentially the head vampire, right? Uh, so the aspiration is one of the new aspirations. We want to be the master vampire. This sim wants to become wise and powerful vampire. That's true. We're also outgoing. We're a kleptomaniac, but also romantic. My, I think my plan is really to kind of seduce people, right? And really, like, because we're outgoing, we'll make friends really easily, we'll seduce them, and then then we'll bite them, and then we'll become more powerful. Uh, also, a kind of side goal, I want to try and turn as many sims as I can into vampires as well, because then, if we're the most powerful vampire, and we're, like, the head vampire, we'll control the most sims. I don't think, I don't even know if that's how the game works, but in my mind, that makes sense to me. Uh, so this is Finn. I guess I'll just go through his clothes real quick. There's a lot of stuff, there's a lot of new stuff that I haven't even used, but uh, I quickly set up some outfits for him. Uh, so right now, Obviously, he's a human. Uh, well, I guess a sim. He's not a vampire at all, so our first task is to become a vampire. So, we have to go do that. Now, I haven't actually played this game pack yet, so I don't really know how we're going to do it. Uh, we're going to go into one of the new houses here. And as a little, uh, a little bit of an easter egg, I've put in a few sims uh, as references to TV shows. Like, over here we have... Suck it, Stockhouse. And then we have uh, Buffy Summers. No, I was going to do Buffy Summers in the, the Bill Compton voice, but it doesn't make any sense. And we also have Dr. Acula living over in San Marchuno, uh, which is a little reference to Scrubs, obviously Buffy, and True Blood there. So we'll see them around in the world, so that'll be a bit of fun. Anyway, this is our house, this crappy little house. Uh, I guess, well, it's daytime, so we're not really going to see vampires out. Although, one of the skills as a vampire is... Or one of the, the uh, I guess, traits, or I don't even know what it's called. We'll find out. Uh, but, okay, first task, become a vampire. Discover a vampire sim, become friends with that vampire. Well, why don't we go visit Vlad? Because, oh, well, first of all, this is the world. Hello. Uh, this is the vampire world. Let's go visit Vlad. I mean, he lives in this obviously spooky house. Uh, visit res residence, please. Uh, since moving household from the gallery, I don't want to do that. I want to go visit Vlad and... Uh, because he is, I guess, I think he's, he's the most powerful vampire, or a top-level vampire. Uh, in the game. So we want to really, I guess, in a way, we want to seduce him and make him think that we're friendly or you know, that we're on his side. When in reality, it's always going to be a power struggle. Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> Knock on the door. Come on in. So I assume he's going to be downstairs, right? Is he, is he here? Sleep. He's not in there. He's not in there. I guess. Well, hang on. Oh, he's right there. Hello, Vlad. He's a young adult. Man, you look old. All right, if he's a young, if he says so. All right, friendly introduction. Let's go say hi. <laughs> Let's go say hi. Hey, mate, what's going on? I uh, thought I'd just uh, come say hi and uh, introduce myself. I'm Finn Lewis, uh, purveyor of fine goods. Not really, but, uh, you know. Let's go. Oh, is that? See, I, wait, what? Is that like a new... I haven't really looked at this game. This is like my first impression of this game pack right here. Is this a new half wall trim? Is this like glass or something? Interesting. Anyway, hey Vlad! No, he did not like that. He already doesn't like me. He's feeling inspired though. Although he is saying hi. Heartfelt compliment. Uh, make a vampire pun. Probably not. Let's discuss, let's complain about local youths. I think he, he, he can relate to that. All right. Finn is outgoing. Outgoing sims need to socialize more often. Yeah, 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 that's fine. All right, so he's hating me less, which is, okay, this is good. This is going well. Get to know him a little bit, we know. Find out a bit, a bit more about him. I don't want to insult him. I'm not an idiot. Uh, compliment his house. His house is actually very, very lovely. I'll share some photos with him too. Vlad is evil. Uh, I mean, it is a pretty, pretty epic house. I mean, I, I personally wouldn't want to live here, especially there's no windows around the back at all. Uh, it's pretty cool though. Pretty vampire-y. So I like it. Uh, <laughs> he's laughing at me. Why? <laughs> This is so red. Ask to turn. Okay, I, we, I think, I feel like we need to be better friends first. We need to win over, win over Vlad. Uh, so, the other thing we've got to do is use the computer to search for information on vampires. Read Encyclopedia Vampirica, Volume 1. Sims who have done their research can use the computer to purchase this home. Oh, okay, so we, we research and then we can purchase that. 
All right, that makes sense. Whoa, hold up, hold up, get back here. Debate existence of vampires. Well, that's a stupid thing to do, isn't it? <laughs> la 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 la. Praise vampire lifestyle. I really like it, man. Uh, Vladislaus. What? Vladislaus is unemployed. Huh. I probably am pronouncing that completely wrong. I don't know how to. Whoa, was is he about to like? Oh, hello. Uh, tell a dramatic story. How about that? Uh, discuss. Uh, no, but I'll brighten his day a little bit. You know, I'll brighten his day a little bit. Make him, make him feel good about everything. Uh, I mean, we're getting there. He's feeling inspired. We know he's evil. Let's see if we can get to know him a little bit more. Actually, let's see, tell an engaging story. And then maybe a heartfelt compliment. Like, I mean, you may be a young adult, but man, you look old. Uh, I don't know if that's a compliment for a vampire. Maybe. I'll ask about his day as well. Uh, asking to cloud gaze would be a pretty silly idea. Because, oh, unless he has a trait that doesn't let him burn when he's outside. But if he does have... If he doesn't have that, he will burn in the sun if he, if he go cloud gazing. So that that wouldn't be smart. In the meantime, let's complain about local youths as well. Uh, no, I want to go. Uh, I'll tell an engaging story. Then I want to go. I want to. I want to know more about you. You know, I want to. Let's see more choices. Deep conversation that should get us another trait. I, I don't want to bring up the vampire thing yet with him. I feel like it's too early in our relationship. Like, I, I'm the new guy in the neighborhood. I've moved into this really spooky town. Uh, I don't know what's going on. But I do know he's a vampire. Like, I'm... Some, I just... I know what's going on. I've got I've got an agenda, and I'm not afraid to... Uh, to do what I need to succeed, I guess, is, is what I'm, I'm hinting at here. Eventually, we're going to kill Vlad. We're definitely going to kill Vlad. I think that should be our ultimate goal, to kill him and take over. And live in his house. You know what? <gasps> Maybe we just marry him. Move in here. Kill him off. Boom! Head vampire! I don't think that's how it works, but... Uh, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. Wait, so what do we know about him? We only know one trait, which is actually not very good. I want to I wanna know who he is. I want to know more about Vlad. Uh, let's have a look. So we want to go for a... Uh, deep conversation didn't really seem to help us. There's no get to know in here. And a hug is probably too soon. Hmm... Chat about property values. How about that? Do an impression. Discuss some interests as well. Uh, maybe another deep conversation. We just need up. So hang on. Where are we now? We're still acquaintances. I would. I would like to be friends because I think once we're friends, we should be able to ask him with reasonable confidence to turn us into a vampire. I'm hoping. Uh, otherwise, I'm not really sure. Brightness day a few times though. That, that should help us out. All right. So. Yeah, he is a Grandmaster Vampire. That's who we want to be. We want to be the Grandmaster! That's going to be us! Okay. Yeah, still step number one. Become a vampire. <laughs> Heartfelt compliment. Gossip about, about neighbours. Joke about politicians. Express admiration. We're still acquaintances. I think we're, get, we're getting... I think we're getting close, though. Oh, friend! Here we go. Right. Are we close enough now? Alright, more choices. Friendly. Ask to turn. That's what we want. That's all I care about. Express admiration one more time to win him over. Will you make me a vampire? I mean, being a vampire is if you would say no. <gasps> yes? Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. That's his... That's his vampire for me. He's a one... He's not a good-looking vampire. As far as vampires go. All right, here we go. Oh. Oh. I feel like that's unnecessary to, like... Hypnotize me. I mean, I said you could. <laughs> this looks like he's yawning a little bit. Alright, let's get in there. Alright, turn me. Yes! Becoming a vampire! This is good. This is exactly what we want. Here we go. Alright, so this, is this just instant what happens here? Become a vampire. Finn Lewis. And now, what? Now I drink his blood as well. Alright. Oh. Can I be like his apprentice? Because that'd be cool. Oh, hello. <laughs> He's laughing. <laughs> what? You didn't like that? I thought you wanted to be a vampire. Attempt to... S no, don't steal from him. Wait, so... If you get their good graces, you may ask if we have a vampire. Are we a vampire or not? I mean, something happened. I don't know what happened. Are we a vampire? What? <laughs> Did that work? What happened? Uh, I feel... Hmm. Uh, I, I feel like maybe it didn't... Well, because it says I'm not a vampire, but I'm, surely I'm a I don't know. 
imagine a Zul Yaga? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Maybe. Uh, I don't. But, but I no, I don't know. I don't know what happened there, to be honest. Uh, I didn't say I can ask to turn anymore. Well, why don't, maybe maybe it takes time. I, I have no idea is the thing. Let's head home though, because I want to, we'll go do the research on the computer for the, uh, for vampires and all that. Um, maybe, maybe it takes a few minutes. So maybe just got to set in. Maybe we need a rest. Maybe we need to have a little bit of a nap. I, I have, I don't know. I just, I don't know. There's only one way to find out. That's if we turn into a vampire, then it worked. If we don't, then it didn't. And in which case, we'll just do it again. Uh, Right. Lot, what is this lot trait anyway? I don't, even, I don't even know what this is. It's a new lot trait. What is it? Um, registered vampire lair. This lot registers as a vampire lair. The league will send various gifts from time to time through the mail, no less. Even the immortals use the public mail service. Uh, only available on home residences. Okay, well, that's random. Sure, I'll take it. Uh, we do have a computer. All right, so let's go for vampire secrets. Search for information on vampires. I like how it's that easy to search for information on vampires, like if I were to do it in the real world, let me just Google vampires real quick. Ooh, they're real. All right, so we've done that. That was easy. Oh, hello. Ah, a new child of the night. As an elder vampire, it is my honor to welcome you to our family. Your new thirst for plasma takes some, let me scroll down a little bit, takes some getting used to. Remember, thirst can be uncomfortable, but it won't kill you. Here are some plasma packs to keep you fed for the first few days. Thirst for plasma takes... Oh, sorry. Your new thirst for plasma takes some... Oh, this is a long message. Takes some getting used to. Remember! Thirst can be uncomfortable... Oh, wait, hang on. I swear I read that already. But it won't kill you. Yeah, I read that. I scrolled up a little bit. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> just stay out of the sun and you'll be fine. See, I feel like... <laughs> can you not call me anymore? Uh, well, hang on. But it still doesn't say I'm a vampire. So I'm, I'm quite confused by that. Uh, I'm not really sure what's going on. Am, am I a vampire or... I still have regular needs. I don't really know. Just about food. Hmm. Maybe, yeah. No, maybe it takes time. I feel like, well, I'm in the game saying I'm a vampire, but I guess it just takes time. Right, so we have some plasma packs, which we don't really need right now. Uh, so we should be able to vampire secrets, purchase vampire terms... Get volume one, please. Thank you. Actually, you know what? We're going to have to do something for work at some point, too, in this, which I haven't really considered. Well, let's read that. <laughs> uh, so we need to, yeah, read volume one. That will get us some uh, some points. Let me just make this a little bit bigger. There we go. That will get us some uh, lifetime points. Uh, frogs are a valuable source of materials for creating your own plasma packs. Okay. So collecting frogs now has a use outside of just collecting them. Fantastic. Hey, we leveled up. Uh, discovered plasma packs. Finn discovered that there is an alternative method. Oh, here we go. Right, it does take a few days. Thank God. So, <laughs> my, my suspicions weren't correct. Greetings, child. My ancient plasma senses, uh, you have recently been turned. Oh, right, yeah. It will take a few days to fully change into a vampire, but fear not, the night awaits. Oh, yes, I'm... <laughs> I'm, I'm actually excited by this. Uh, right, there's an alternative method for vampires to satisfy their thirst. You can now order plasma packs on the computer. Cool. Uh, not that I want to do that. I'm definitely, definitely going to be eating actual sims. Uh, right, so... What are you doing? Put away. All right. I feel like... What if I just have a plasma pack? No, I can't have it yet. Okay, well... Well, you've already taken the food out, so you might as well resume the garden salad. All right, so you're a bit hungry. Um, all right, so it's going to take a few days to become a vampire. I guess that's what we've got to hope happens soon. Look at all the birds down here. Why are there so many pigeons? Who's that? Nancy Landcrab just wandering around. Hello, Nancy. One day you'll be a vampire too. <laughs> oh, Tim said that. I'm just having a look around. I haven't really, uh, haven't really seen anything here. Any mail? I've got no mail. All right, so you are going to do that. So after we become a vampire, let me have a look. What What's next up? Reach vampire lore level four, participate in vampire training, become a minor vampire. All right, so we got we got a ways to go. Can't really do any of that stuff until uh, till we sort of level up and become an actual vampire anyway. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's happening slowly but surely. So is this going to be... So I guess this is just like the little trait that's like, ooh, he's changing. Alrighty. Bad aftertaste. Fair enough. Well, I mean, you did make it, so that's fine. Right, uh, let's go to the toilet. 
I like how absolutely kind of just filthy this house is. Like with just like the cracks around the walls and like, yeah, all the cracks in the walls, like the cobweb. Oh, I love all these, because all these pieces, well, they're all just pieces, right? They're all like little decals. I love this. And you can just buy them. There's so many of them too. Look at all this. I love this. You can just get more cracks. And apparently, hang on, first of all, if I turn move objects on, apparently, even without move objects on, if I turn that off, if they're small enough, they can fit on a window or something. I don't, I don't think any of these windows are big enough, but you can have them like place on windows so it looks like a window is cracked in that. So it's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, I'm excited. I, as I'm excited to like build houses with all these things. Right, I'm actually just gonna get you to sleep because then we can sort of fast forward a little bit uh, and become a vampire sooner. So it's gonna take us a few days. I guess we should. Well, I mean, what? Okay, what can we do to increase our skill? Researching vampires on the computer or reading unlocked tomes. All right. Well, if we research a little bit more, uh, then that would be good, right? So we can just if we get to level four. I mean, we're already at level three. Like that was pretty quick. So I think we can get to level four, and then presumably we can order another book and read up more, right? Although it turns out researching is actually doing nothing right now for us. <laughs> it's actually uh, doing nothing. All information on vampires. Okay, that's not helping us out then. Uh, what about? Can, can I not order another one? No. What if I read the one that we already had again? Uh, or is that just... Oh, actually, yeah, you know what? It is going up again. All right, so we can keep reading the first one. Ooh! <laughs> oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited to be... Uh... All right. Uh, coffins keep out all sunlight when closed. Finn can do something useful with that bit of info. Discovered plasma pack creation. While reading about vampires, Finn learned the secrets of converting fish and frogs into tasty plasma packs. Interesting. We'll have to remember that. He can now make plasma packs from fish or frogs. Cool. So we're also, I assume, level four now. Cool. Getting quite hungry. Yeah, you? You're quite the hungry little one, aren't you? Unfortunately, you're going to be eating Sims soon. <laughs> Alright, have some cereal. Because they'll keep going for now. Then let's go back to reading our book because before, I mean, the thing is, before we can uh, really get stuck into being a vampire, we just have to get there. So we might as well. Oh. <laughs> we might as well. Keep reading that, please. Try and skill up as much as we can before we come. Oi! Can you just read your book, Finn? Do you like his tats as well? I just put some random tats on him when I, when I was in creative sim. I was like, yeah, put him on. He's going to be pretty badass, you know. He's that kind, he's that kind of guy. All right, so we're almost level five. Okay, can you... Some vampires have been observed turning into bats. That would be awesome. That's the skill we want. Actually, we want all skills, really, if possible. Right, we discovered garlic braid. Okay. Finn has read that there are primitive ways of uh, warning away vampires uh, making garlic braids. He can now make garlic braids, garlic wreaths, and garlic garlands from his inventory. Alright, I mean, not that I want to do that, because I want to be a vampire. Right. Finn read that talented vampires can turn other sims into vampires. Ooh. A mortal sim uh, can even ask a vampire to turn them, provided they know the vampire well enough. I mean, well, we already know that. We already did that ourselves. Right, we unlocked another vampire tome. Fantastic. Ex exhausted everything that can be learned from this book. If he wishes to continue his research, he should order Encyclopedia Vampirica Vol 2 on the computer. I feel like we can just get it from here, though, because it also said we could do it from here. Uh, volume 2. Thank you. All right. Uh, and then read that. You can also eat. Can you eat at the same time while you read? Yeah. I don't think so. All right, fine. Eat first. Eat first. Read later. Uh, yeah, you're not that hungry. I think it's just a trait that's like making you seem like, oh, I'm so hungry, but I, I'm hungry for something else. I'm hungry for blood. There we go. I guess plasma technically, isn't it? Oh, soon. <laughs> soon. Come on. I want to be a vampire. At least part one, we're going to become a vampire, right? But not a vampire in part one. What's the point of the vampire game pack? Finn read that vampires can be out during the day as long as they have a ceiling over their head, which stops the most powerful of the sun's rays. Okay. Okay. So as long as it's like, if we're outside, but there's like a, a ceiling, that's fine. Okay. All right. So we're just sitting out here reading about vampires. Uh, there is a special drink concoction, which can allow vampires to walk in the daylight for a limited time. Cool. Discovered new social. 
Finn has learned a lot about vampires. He can now share vampire knowledge with other Sims. Cool. Uh, speaking of other Sims, who's around? Who are you guys? Oh, I know you guys. You guys are just boring regular Sims. Oh! Oh! It's Buffy! Oh my- And it's Suki! Suki. Suki Stockhouse. <laughs> hey! Hey guys! Suki! Oh, I really hope some of you guys have at least seen True Blood, otherwise it's just really lost on you. <laughs> if you search up Bill Compton saying Suki on YouTube, just watch like the compilation of that. Can you put that in your inventory, please? So it's not just on the floor. Suki Stockhouse. Uh, thanks for coming. Uh, great new neighbor. Because I should get to know them. I will be turning them into vampires later on. What's up, Buffy? I mean, these things are actually pretty good as well. Like that, that's pretty, that's pretty good. Like when I saw these, I was like, damn, they're pretty good. Um, this, this, uh, this version of Suki. Uh, oh, there we go. See, because they, <laughs> all right. Uh, then, because they, when they added the, uh, the vampire update, they added the ability to change your Sim's teeth and they have like a, uh, the gap tooth one. And Suki has like a gap tooth. So I put it on it. I updated it. And then we have this guy, Caleb Vatour. Which, I don't know who he is. I think he's just a new sim. I mean, he clearly yeah. looks like a vampire. If he's not a vampire, I'm going to be surprised. Uh, basically. Are you, are you a vampire? Two's so. about vampires. I will. Uh, um, debate exists. No. Share vampire uh, knowledge. No. Oh, he likes it. Suki. Praise vampire lifestyle to Suki. <laughs> Wait, that would be the creepiest thing. There's a new guy in the neighborhood. Oh man, vampires, they are awesome. I would love to be feasting on, like, praising their lifestyle. What is going on? I found a lot of crazy info on vampires on the computer. And none of it's true, probably. I'll get to know Suki. I should probably get to know Buffy as well. Seeing as we are neighbors. Uh, discuss interests. Uh, thanks for coming. I feel like I already did that. Um, yeah, so... Suki just lives in this house, which was uh, just the one that came with the world. And then this one over here, I downloaded this up the gallery because I was like... Oh no! I just realized there's no stairs at the front because I placed it too close to the edge. Whoops. Uh, but yeah, it was obviously like a recreation of, of her place. Um, so I thought that was kind of fun. Alright, leave me alone guys. I need to go to the toilet. Excuse me! Go on upstairs. Thanks. Thanks, welcome wagon. I appreciate it. Maybe I'll serve some, some brunch for everybody. Fruit salad. That's all I can serve. Sorry guys. Well, I guess a vampire might not like it, but that's alright. Oh, 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 he's cut. Okay, just become a vampire. Become a vampire already. It's got to be, wait, well, how many days? It hasn't been that many days, has it? All right, call to meal. There you go. All right, so everyone can have some food. There you go, guys. I mean, I called you to meal. And you've left. All right. Rude. Uh, thanks for coming. I feel like I've already said thanks for coming, but I'll do it again. Get to know. Uh, ask about career as well. Let's find out who Buffy is. I wish I was a vampire slayer career. Wait, they didn't add a new career in this, did they? <laughs> like, I really don't know what's in this pack. Other than ob the obvious vampire portion of it. But I swear, if they have a vampire slayer... <laughs> I, I don't... Please. Just please have it. So wait, what, what, what is Buffy? She's uh, active. She's a neighbor. She doesn't have a job. Uh, Alright, can you just find a job? Yeah, dag dag to you too, but did do you have a vampire slayer career? Uh astronaut, critic, culinary, secret agent, right damn it. Where's vampire slayer? <laughs> it should be an interactive career. Interactive vampire slayer. That'd be awesome. Ah, oh, missed opportunity for sure. Right, I'm gonna go take a shower. You guys can stay here if you want. Uh like down the bottom, that's fine. Alright. Appetite lost. Your appetite's lost, but you're still getting hungry, so there you go. Right, let's keep reading our vampire encyclopedia and learn- Oh, Suki is back. Whoa, that guy, that guy can run! Where'd he go? Oh, that's a cool power. I want that power. Do you see that? It was just like, Fwa. See, this is why I want to get all the powers. Because I assume- I don't even know- Well, there's speed, I guess. I'm not really sure what the powers are. I assume when we actually become a vampire- Okay, can you keep reading that, please? I assume when we actually become a vampire, we'll be able to see what our skills are. Okay, Siri, can you stop listening? Okay, pause, she said. Alright. Uh, stupid. 
Uh, right. Finn read some vampires have been observed turning into bats. Okay, well, I feel like we already knew that. You already told me that. Let me get that out of my inventory. Coffins keep out all... Okay, we already knew that as well. Okay, you've almost... You've almost skilled up. Just come on. There we go. Discover new plants. Finn has learned that there are some special ingredients that are used in some vampire-specific recipes. Uh, he can now purchase plasma fruit, wolfsbane, and six of mosquito trap seeds. Cool. All right. Well, I guess we should probably get started on that. Considering we also have a little planter out here ready to go. Okay, you can stop reading that now. Because uh, you said you wanted to... Wait, what did you want to do? You are complaining about something. I don't really know what. You're going to clean that up too? Because you kind of just left that there. Uh, right. Purchase <laughs> garlic seeds. No. Wolf bane, please. Ah, right. We are definitely... Oof. $350. Okay, we need to do something about money. Uh... Man, by a secret. Oh, look at all these. Oh, okay, we're going to order all the seeds and that. Maybe we should just... I think we should be a novelist on the side. And we should just write books about vampires. All of our novels will be about vampires. And people, like, I'll be the world's greatest author and the world's greatest vampire at the same time. And people will be like, oh my god, how did this guy write such good vampire novels? It's because he is a vampire. Uh, Mr... No. The Adventures of Mr. Vampire. This is a children's book. That's his first novel, The Adventures of Mr. Vampire. There we go. Okay, so, so soon. We gotta... I just don't want to end this part without becoming a vampire. Because I feel like it's going to be a good cliffhanger when we become a vampire, right? <laughs> that That's the goal, right? <laughs> like, end it right there. It's going to be soon, though. Uh, you're feeling uncomfortable... I, oh, okay, I was gonna say I don't care, but I guess you have to go. Why would you nap? Just go to sleep. Like, actually just go to sleep. Nope, now you're napping on the sofa. That's stupid, you idiot. Just go to sleep. There you go, buddy. All right, so that will fast forward time a little bit for us. Uh, and then we're gonna have to have some more food. Oh, hello there. I just wanted to welcome you to the community and my, that's a lovely neck you have there. Oh. When you say welcome you to the community, do you mean the community of vampires or the community of the neighborhood because that's unfortunate i'm still not a vampire uh well i guess when we are we'll know because this will skill up and i assume it'll probably tell me i, I assume it's going to be oh hello uh eh, whatever you can stand there that's fine uh <laughs> eh, eh, that's fine uh oh you must be wondering about your new vampire energy uh it will fuel your powers allowing you to do all manner of magic don't worry if scroll down you uh run out of uh where if you run out Oh, hello. Scroll back up. If you run out, sleeping or dark meditation will replenish your vampire energy. Okay. However, it will burn away in the sun. If you're in daylight and have none, you will burn to death. So be very careful during the day. Daylight and no vampire energy equals death. Got it. Okay. Sounds good to me. Um, yeah. All right. So, we, okay, he's telling me more and more things, so we must be getting close. Uh, we still have regular stuff, though, right? Yeah. All right, can I go fast? Yeah, there we go. Going faster. Uh, feeling a bit hungry. Oh, oh, wait, hang on. Transitioning into a vampire! Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time, and have an awesome day. <laughs> what a absolute cliffhanger and what a you know what i don't even feel bad about that watch part two because part two is gonna be where it really starts you know that's where we're gonna get going so uh, i guess i'll see you there thanks guys i'll see you next time and have an awesome day